So welcome to the first video that I'm going to upload on the channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Alex. Most of you tuning in at this point are going to know who I am from Facebook and whatever else. Some of you who've been to my yard will have seen my old spider machine and they're the old Kaiser. A while ago I got wind of another one and so today I'm on my way to rescue the old one. I haven't seen it in oh, must be nearly a year. The only time I saw it last time was for five minutes at the end of the day with a grumpy girlfriend in the car and no time to actually look at it. So I haven't seen the engine, I haven't seen the hydraulics, I haven't seen anything other than the fact this thing exists. It may run, it may not. It was the classic ran when parked. I think I've got all the tools that I need to at least have a pretty good crack at getting this thing going. Whether or not that works, who knows. We may get in there, it may be a complete piece of but failing that I do want it for parts for my other one it's got a oh. Oh. <laughs> flag that we'll edit we'll re-edit that <laughs> let's not put me road raging in here can I get out this gate no no I can't good god Auckland sucks anyway we're at the back of Kumiu basically the rundown on this machine was we'll, we'll cover the story of my other one another day my old one that I got from Carl that is a story in itself You're probably worthy of a video and i will run through a few things with the machine because there's a lot of people that are interested in learning as much as they can since i'm sort of the only one in well i'm the only one in new zealand with cases and i'm the only one with more than one spider of anything so anyway the one that i'm going to get today i had heard tell that it existed i had heard little bits and pieces of everyone everyone's mates uncle's cousin oh there used to be a spider in auckland back in the day used to do guy tried doing house sites with it apparently oh he took the drive motors out and the thing just had to crawl around and drag itself and couldn't get on a transporter and couldn't do this and it couldn't do that anyway after hearing these snippets of stories i tried to track it down couldn't find anything about it everyone said oh it must have been scrapped gone to the wreckers someone must have done something with it a friend of a friend's stepdad runs an auction house in Auckland auctioning machinery and he goes oh I had one of those machines come through the auctions years ago and I said oh yeah okay and I wasn't honestly wasn't very convinced because everyone thinks they've seen these things until they've actually seen one and worked out that that's not at all what they thought they saw so I took it with a grain of salt it's probably not the one if it is well it's long gone so we we sort of brushed it off and I thought maybe it's still out there but um, through the magic of the internet another friend who is a absolute machinery genius and seems to be able to find anything that ever existed anywhere came across an auction flyer for this auction online somehow with a stock list for this machine and got the location for where it is and said, sent me this link and said here you go this is the last known place of its existence and I went holy that's incredible so one day I thought I'm just going to go and try this place I don't know the people I don't know anything about it it's probably long gone I imagine it's been scrapped but we rolled in there managed to find the guy's son in this location in the middle of nowhere like we are way down the back of West Auckland found this machine and got talking found the right guy found the owner and said is it still here and he said yes it's up the top so I said, okay, can I have a look at it? And he said, yeah, be real quick. And obviously I did have an angry girlfriend who I'd promised that we would probably do something romantic, which to me is looking at machinery, but to her, I imagine was not that. So I got a five minute look at this thing. I got to prove, yes, it exists. It's complete. It may be it may be not. We don't know. I haven't seen the engine, like I say. It's literally a lucky dip and I agreed to buy it. So today's the day that I turn back up and attempt to resurrect it and get it ready to go. I'll bring you along. I won't film too much of where we're going. He's an awesome dude, but I don't imagine he wants his stuff broadcast around the countryside. But um, I will do the best I can, and we'll see what we can come up with. First time I've seen it, and God knows how long. <laughs> oh God, how the am I gonna do this? It's actually all I really wanted on it was the boom, because this dipper is in way better condition than mine. But, if I can save it... She's f***ing... God damn. It's actually got... So, I don't know how to run it at all, or anything about it. I'm imagining, actually I've just got no idea. 
No idea at all. I think the legs are the same. But the dipper is way cleaner. Somewhere under here is an engine. Yeah, the exhaust is pretty mint. Right, so 10 minutes with the weed eater and she's actually not that bad. For anyone who's seen my yellow one, this is infinitely easier and more complete to start with. So whether or not she moves is another question, but besides the peel on the rams, it's, like, it's not, it's really not terrible. All the legs are fine. Everything's just, yeah, she's pretty clean really. The boom is real good shape. God knows what's up with the tilt bucket. It looks like it's spent its life living in the ocean. Even the dog bones, it's just unreal, the rust. But that's really the only bit that's rusty. The rest of it is incredible. All the link legs, like everything's perfect. The underbody, this, this to restore, the cab's gonna need a bit of work, but really the rest of it, you could almost just sandblast it and paint it the old exhaust seen much much better days same problem that happened with my other one for some reason the exhaust seemed to rot out on them real quick and the um, air filters but beyond that we'll start pulling it apart in a sec seeing what's in the engine compartment whether or not we're absolutely wasting our time just peeking through there we might be pushing it but the cab, like the cab's not bad all the link arms down here that were in the bush actually real good condition So removing the exhaust, managed to just straight tear the, inch, the exhaust mount rubber off rather than undoing the bolt, but that's all right. The exhaust, I think I'm gonna have to just straight cut it because she's obviously seen some water. But beyond that, this will do. Since I took my crowbar back, cool thing about this, my other one doesn't have the counterweight with the embossed Kaiser, which I think is pretty battery box, still with a battery bit of official wood, rubbish so oh Spared no expense on the chipboard floor, but on the whole, not, not terrible. This can definitely be yeeted. So, how do I do this? Not like that. Let's go back up here.
What the f am I even looking at here? So, I don't know how this f throttle body works. Oh, what's going on in there? What a f nose. <laughs> Good God. Let's see if I can drop the other engine compartment. Hey, EG. Good sh Swear by it. Haven't killed any. Got a surgery. The objective for this thing is to be able to put it back to factory, restore it all back to how it was. It's definitely the only one in New Zealand. Uh, there's probably only a handful of these left in the world now of this model. So with cutting the exhaust like that, I can still, A, it's full of so there's no point trying to start the engine, but B, if I can start the engine, then I can leave this on here, and then when I go to replicate this and make a new pipe, I can just fold this back to how it was, Free, not weld that, but I'll get another bend, and then we'll make a whole new exhaust that replicates what it had. <laughs> Cannot believe that worked. Right, so the old twin pot Deutz. She's actually really not that bad. I know there's gonna be a whole lot of people at home going, you're crazy. But on the whole, honestly, it's really not that bad. Not for one of these, not for anything European and not for anything old. God knows how old this is. So twin cylinder Deutz. Hydraulic tank, everything's all right. The valve body's actually in really good shape. My other one's valve body suffered majorly from being outside. All the hoses, there's nothing, nothing terrible. Like there's wear there, but it's not gonna stop it doing anything. Like it's, it's surprisingly really not bad. I figured out this, this is the central heating system. This is the best that you had for heating and cooling back in Whenever the f So, sucks hot air in here. Somehow manages to heat through the... I'm, ass I'm assuming those are push rods. I really don't know, but that's a heat sink in there. So it heats through the tube. Down through there, down through there, and blows it out by your feet. So, too bad if you don't want heat all the time, because apparently that's what you get. Just deal with it. Be glad that you've got heat in wherever you're doing whatever the f So, the injector pump is free, amazingly. Engine has oil <laughs> and isn't that bad. I'm almost tempted to just throw a battery in the thing and see if it goes. I don't have anything big enough to put on the crank pulley. So, I did plan ahead for doing that, but I didn't think the crank pulley enough was going to be that big. I may be able to turn it off the fan pulley. 
maybe. Oh. But that's probably optimistic. Around the front, I'm guessing this is the fuel tank. I really don't know. So I was going to try and drain this. I don't know what's in there. I think it's diesel. It doesn't smell like anything. So that's weird. So I'm picking this as hydro. Mate, yes, this will be hydro based on what I know of my other one. That's disgusting. But it has oil and it's not, again, not that bad. I didn't really get that much in there. Hopefully it's got filters. I'm assuming that's filter. This valve here has seen better days. But on the whole, and honestly, let's put a puller on the pulley on the fan shroud and see if we can get it to do something. I don't know how to get any anything in the engine. I'd love to get some something in the engine. Those are its injectors, but God knows how you get them out. All right. Well, it actually turns over. Holy crap. Downside is it feels like it has absolutely zero compression at all. Fully zero compression. Which might have ruined our day before we start. Because I could turn that over with a... I reckon I could turn that over with the rattle gun, but I might just throw a battery in and just see what it does. See if we get any life. Okay, battery connected. I'm a little bit worried about the fact it's got no compression. Can't really get in there to do anything about it. It's probably gonna do cool, but it might loosen the rings, maybe. But in theory, if she's gonna go, she's gonna go. We got a light. <laughs> Holy f Wow. That's cool. So, go under. Since it's so rudimentary, I just wonder if oh, maybe we give it some throttle. I don't know what the f these do. I'm assuming that's Globlex. Oh. Um. It was trying to move itself. What was it trying to do? Sorry for the terrible filming. This is quite difficult one-handed and not expecting that. That was weird. That was real weird. Well, 
love how they used this, thinking that that was a good idea. What the f was it trying to do though? Is the question. What do these do? Let's just see us. Oh, they move whatever that is. See, I uh, see the crap out of everything. I'd really like to get all the sh out of these valve bodies, but oh, that's going to be a f nightmare. So, that's stuck. We've got that's free. That's free. That and that are uh, locked tight. That's now free. I attempted to CRC everything, so whether that's made any difference at all to freeing. So we've still got two jammed. That's still sticky, but not terrible. Free, 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 free. So that's good. So we've only got that and that that are jammed. Free. Sticky, but will run. Stuck. What's. pedals completely locked up so I wonder if I need to spray to see I see the valve bank on the other side throttle cable stuck oh yeah no <laughs> so if that's not gonna happen Feel like this might be dead before it starts. Just wondering if the actual problem is these valves and not so much the linkages. Very hard doing this by myself without someone to be inside working the levers. Like that valve is clean. I just think that might be the issue. If I turn it on, and remember, no, that swing 